Yes. It's very messy, isn't it, all this work? So, the worktop's complete and all the formwork has been removed. What we realised though, after we'd cast it, was that we hadn't made the correct shape for the sink in as much as we'd forgotten that the, although the sink area is this sort of square here, there's also a little pipe that goes on the side for the overflow and of course there's a hole for the tap which is sort of around this area um, so I've had to get him to chop out a load of concrete so that if we ever need to change the tap we can actually get our hand underneath and get to the hole and of course now a huge amount of clearing up to be done This is the last bit of building work now though, so hopefully what's going to happen is all these bits of wood are going to be taken away, some trays are going to recycle them, reuse them, and we can start to really tidy up. And the only mess that will be made now is from the tiling, which is going to be dust and odd bits of tiles as you can see on the floor here. He's doing the inside of the cupboards now and then he'll move on to the bathrooms. Right, this is the final drain set up. I've used some more concrete to pack out the sides where the soil was running down. And uh, that was done yesterday and we've been lucky with the weather so that's dried off really nicely. I've covered the drain now with stones, with larger stones so that they don't block up the hole. And I found this off cut of, of trim from the patio work and the terrace work so I'm going to put that over the top and then cover this area with stones and that that will just protect the the hole from too much pressure if you like the, the grid from too much pressure from stones on it just in case it should buckle and bend uh, I just thought that was, I might as well do that we're expecting some more stones today had another disaster yesterday when they delivered the tiles. They took it upon themselves to reverse their truck onto our gravel and basically it sank and they've created a sort of quagmire because they've compressed the sand and pushed all the water out and they literally have created um, quicksand because this area here, yesterday, it's not so bad now, Centre's put some dried sand on, but literally you could bounce up and down on the stones. You could actually see the stones bouncing up and down as you walked across them. And bearing in mind that we're only about 60 kilos each, that's some impressive bit of damage they've done to the underside of this area. So, that's more work to be done, tidying up after someone else again. There's just a constant stream of issues to resolve really, um, which is annoying me a bit and making, making me a bit angry. Uh, because it's just not, it's not a question of just building something and then it's finished. It seems to be, we build it, then someone messes it up, then we make it nice again then someone comes along and messes it up again or builds something else and it's not quite right so it's very frustrating I have to say but looking at other videos on the internet I do see this even with building contractors where they have to keep coming back and repairing stuff and correcting stuff that uh, that they haven't done right first time so it's not just it's not just this this site as it were it's and this the management of this site it's industry wide i think country wide right this is looking promising isn't it so he's, he's all but completed the insides of the cupboards obviously they need grouting and he's working on the top surfaces now. 
Um, to be honest, the Thai standard of tiling is pretty much, yes, it's there, it will do. Which is not good enough for me, unfortunately, and probably not good enough for a lot of you if you're going to be building your own places. So just be around when they're tiling, because, for example, I had to introduce this concept of using tile spaces to give an even gap all the way along. And I've got some special stuff coming for the floors to make sure that they're easily levelled off. Uh, the other thing I had to sort of insist on is that this cut tile here was exactly in the right position to make it square to the front. Otherwise, when the trim goes on, there would be a bit of a gap between it, which we could fill with grout, but it would look as though the tile wasn't in line. And with regard to the trims, um, his first attempt at putting this trim in meant that it was sticking too far out at this end. So I took it out and chopped a little bit off the end of it and put it back in so that it actually lines up with the corner of the tile. So um, it's the devils in the detail as usual. The other thing is that we had we had um, two tiles with damage on, um, one of which was being put in place, and I said, no, you can't use that one, it's damaged. No, we had three tiles with damage on, actually. Uh, anyway, only little chips off the corners, of course, but once the tiles are down on the work surface, that'll, be bun that'll become very visible, I'm sure. Um, this is another damaged tile with an even bigger chip out of it, just here. So I had to point out that we needed to use those tiles for cutting the small pieces. Yes, this is the third damaged tile. There's a bit of a chip out of the corner here, but that will be lost when we, we cut out to use on this counter here. Uh, yeah, just if you're managing the project yourself, just make sure that you're you're on top of the tiling, as it were. You're there all the time, checking measurements and checking squareness. Um, it's only when they sort of got used to your requirements, I think, then you can leave them to it. Uh, I think we're going to be quite fortunate um, with the way he's cutting it. He. He's not using a tile cutter, which gives a very clean edge, in my opinion. He, like another person we've employed, is using one of these disc cutters, and it leaves a bit of a rough edge. But fortunately, it's revealing the white surface underneath, and it's sort of almost in keeping with the marbling effect. So we're hopeful that once that's grouted in, that um, roughly cut edge won't really be very apparent. It'll just blend in with the marbling on the subject of tiling, seeing how he's been working, I've ordered some special clips to help get the tiles level on the floor and they can also be used on the wall as well. So I've ordered 2,000 of these levelling clips here, which are these white ones and uh, they fit underneath the tiles when you're laying them on the on the adhesive as you can see there and then they provide a two millimeter gap and stick up above the tiles and then you stick these wedges in and use this little puller to pull the wedges tight into the white plastic clips and then they keep the tiles nice and tight to each other and once they're on the wall and on the ground they'll be pulled level so you've got no tiles that are sticking up proud of each other so that should assist him so I've got 200 of these wedges because they're reusable 
and 2000 of the clips because the next day once the once the adhesive is dry you just remove the the wedges and you kick off the kick off the white clips you break them off basically and the the bit underneath stays underneath okay so that hopefully will make his job a little bit quicker and easier and give us some consistency although I have to say that when I see floors tiled in Thailand whoever does it they do a very good job they're always level but uh, walls might be a slightly different matter now out here we have got ourselves some new guttering and we're going to attempt to refit these gutters this afternoon in a much neater fashion. So Sintere is in the process of actually removing them all and then we will work our way from one end to the other fitting individual ones with a bigger overlap and a better support system. Hey presto and it's done. Only took about an hour because we followed the YouTube videos on how to join these things successfully and easily. It was a much easier job than the first side. Anyway, it looks very neat now. There's no tape. I guarantee it won't leak. We've got very good overlaps. Everything looks in good condition because it's all new and it hasn't been damaged. Apart from the very end one where the pipe comes down which we've reused. That's a little bit tatty but that's the furthest away. So pleased with that. That's another job out of the way. <laughs>